everyone, this is Chris Burns from Flash Gear. Today we're taking a look at the Idea Center A720 all-in-one desktop. Uh, this is from Lenovo and it has a, a massive 27 inch screen right here and it's all touch sensitive. Now you can use uh, your keyboard and your mouse if you wish. Those are both included in the, the package. They're both uh, made up of mostly plastic and they're really pretty nice. Uh, but you can also, uh, the, the idea here is that you use the touch screen primarily. Now, you can use the touch screen to do normal things like tap in here, go to your internet, and uh, you know do things like this. If you tap here, uh, whenever you tap to a, a place where there's text, you can get to your keyboard like that. You also have handwriting recognition there. So if I type or write my name there, and I'll pop it in there, and then I can insert, and there it is in there. And then you can also you know, use the keyboard sort of normally as well. Now, you can get the keyboard that way, but you can also get it from the, uh, the side here. I can get it. There we go. Uh, you can type there as well. Now, you also have tools, like you can get, say where you want to dock it and where do you want it to go, but we have a really basic right now. So, you can use uh, apps how you normally would. You should use this as your controller uh, to play videos or what you need to do, but you can also do things like uh, work with the Idea Center. Uh, there's a couple of things here that Lenovo has added specifically for touch. Up here at the top, you're able to see all your files. Uh, all these work with touch. Go down here and see your files organized that way as well. Back out. And over on the right, you have a couple other things. Now this little thing here uh, shows you how to, sort of a, a how-to uh, guide here. You have two little sets of cards to show you over here is for maintenance, over here is for entertainment. Uh, then you can also uh, pop out and see it this way as well. Now what we're going to do here first is go to uh, Touch Games. Now you have a collection of games in here right out of the box, including you know things that you know about Angry Birds and then uh, Fruit Ninja. But you also have things like uh, Wong. Now Wong is the one we're going to look at because it's the most unique item on here. Besides, there's a piano in there as well, but uh, you can see that in the other hands-on videos that uh, Lenovo's uh, sent out. Now what we're going to do is start it up. As you can see it's essentially Pong. What we're going to do here is make the paddle with two fingers. Now you can do that. You can make several paddles here. You can make up to you know, ten spots at once, obviously. Um, but what you want to do is to you know, obviously, win the hockey game, just like Pong originally was. Now this is a relatively unique game and certainly makes use of the touch screen quite well. Now, uh, pop back out of here, uh, and then we'll, we'll, we will take a look at the piano here as well. Now, in the piano, you've got a few options, just like you would with that other game, including the ability to flip the whole screen over, Flip it back there. You can play, play like that. You can also flip that one. So if you have two people like this, playing like that. Uh, the reason for that is uh, if you want to pull the screen all the way up, we'll do that in a moment. I'm not going to do it so we can stay focused for now. But you can pull all the way up and then it'll be flat down and then two people playing at once. Now I can pop back out. We also have things like Link Up. That's a really simple uh, connection game. You have Music Star. Let's type in Music Star once. This is actually very similar to what you know as uh, Guitar Hero or those sorts of games or you know Dance Dance Revolution. Uh, we'll go single play. Okay. You can see some of the graphics are a little bit uh, wonky. This is sort of pixelated, for example. A lot of them are just fine. So. See the touch controls are quite nice. Very reliable. Yeah. Menu. Yeah. Exit. Uh, we're gonna look at one more thing here. We are gonna look at Fruit Ninja. This is another good example of how they use touch controls, exactly how they should be used in this. Because uh, Fruit Ninja is a touch game. You know, it came from uh, Android and iOS, where it's made for a touch screen. So it's perfect example of what to do here. So we're going to go to new game, uh, go to arcade mode, and whoosh, 
you can use, again, you can use up to 10 fingers at once, but just use one if you're cool. And, uh, just like that. Very cool. And this also, this game is very obviously uh, made with, uh, you know, vector graphics, so everything's going to expand as big as you need it to. If you want to do it on this screen, or if you even want to make it go out to a bigger screen as well. Now, the reason I say go out to a bigger screen is, uh, wait, let's quit. Here we go. Is that this uh, massive computer also has uh, HDMI out. It also has HDMI in, so that you can use it as a uh, you know, you can use your smaller devices, you can pop into here like your Android phone or your iPhone, whatever you have, and you can pop it into here and see from this big touch screen, uh, and then you can put it out as well. One last thing we're going to do here before we start looking at the hardware is go to the camera fun zone. Now, this situation here works with your uh, device's camera up on top, so I'm standing up here, uh, and you're going to use it sort of like uh, what you might, you know, say, Sort of similar to what Connect is. Let's see if we can make this work here. There we go. No, we want to be that small, so we want to be back up here. Good. And then we're going to play. We will play ping pong, yeah. But we can. Just to show you, you can go back and forth like this, like that. So the camera is seeing the size of your hands, the size of where you're moving, and working like that. So we're going to go play. Go. Now obviously this game, at least these games with the camera are one player, but this computer obviously is really awesome for two player games as well, since you can push it down and make it flat. There we go. Good there. Lots of confirmations here. cheating because I'm a giant. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Good times. So, that's that. <laughs> Back out. All the way. And the last thing I'm going to show you is the hardware here. Up on the right side, you have a power button. It's a really simple power button. It has a contour of your finger. Uh, you can pop it in and out. It's really easy to use, but not easy to mistake. Uh, on the bottom, there are bumpers. Uh, on the right, you also have a uh, DVD drive. Uh, that's also good for Blu-ray. You can burn whatever you want in there and play it. You also have a, uh, a memory card slot there as well. Um, on the back, you've got a, uh, a spot for a TV tuner. That comes with the device as well. Uh, you have a headphone jack, a uh, place for your uh, microphone. You also have three USB 2.0 ports. Uh, we have a thing, a little dongle plugged in here for Bluetooth so we can get our uh, other devices working there. You also have a place for power, Ethernet, and then you have a lock as well if you need to lock your whole system down. On top, you see some several stickers, what, you know, for stuff for Dolby because it has Dolby, uh, Dolby drivers inside for your stereo. Uh, you have Windows 7 in there, Energy Star approved, Core i7, uh, that's Ivy Bridge, and uh, Skype. You have a, a giant place for your fans to you know, be able to breathe. You also have a USB 3.0 port, just one of them, as well as HDMI in and out. Also going to demonstrate here is the fact that you can uh, move this device. It's actually quite heavy. Uh, just let it be unplugged there, that's fine. Uh, it's actually quite heavy, so you're not going to be you know, dropping this anytime soon if you do watch for your feet. But uh, what you can do is you can push this all the way down to, a, to sort of a flat mode there. That's why they have bumpers, again, why there's bumpers on the bottom. You can also flatten it out like this, so you can have a totally flat screen like that. You can push it up as well this way and let it be flat, straight up like that. So, pretty cool stuff. Check it out.